Hi friends, in this video we are solving the problems based on Rolle's theorem. Okay, verify Rolle's theorem for the function f of x is equal to e power x into sin x minus cos x in pi by 4 comma 5 pi by 4 interval. Next second problem is f of x is equal to x into x plus 3 into e to the power of minus x by 2 in minus 3 and 0 in the interval closed interval minus 3 0. Now coming to the first problem you observe the given problem f of x is equal to e power x into sin x minus cos x. Okay now you observe the given function is given function is containing sin function and cosine function and exponential function. You know that uh, sin function is continuous cosine function is continuous e power x is also continuous so their combination is also continuous so f of x is continuous everywhere okay so in pi by 4 comma 5 pi by 4 is also continuous okay next second one is f dash of x we have to verify the differentiation now f, f dash of x now product of two functions uv rule uv old dash is equal to u dash into v plus v dash into u anyway first term into second term derivative sin derivative is cos x minus cos derivative is minus sin x first term into second term derivative plus second term into first term derivative is e to the power of x i'll repeat again f dash of x is equal to first term into second term derivative plus second term into first term derivative now this is exponential function here also you have exponential function so f dash of x what you can say is it defined or not in the interval open interval 5 by 4 comma 5 pi by 4 5 by 4 comma 5 pi by 4 now also you can simplify this one you see e power x cos x and uh, anyway first i am simplifying e power x into cos x plus e power x into sin x plus e power x into sin x minus e power x into cos x so minus e power x cos x plus e power x cos x getting cancelled so the remaining term what i have 2 e power x sin x this is f dash of x is exist in open interval pi by 4 comma 5 pi by 4 that's it now you have to verify third condition f of a is equal to f of b or not f of a what is a you have pi by 4 f of pi by 4 means in place of uh, x you have to substitute pi by 4 you observe sin pi by 4 is ok e power pi by 4 sin pi by 4 minus cos pi by 4 sin pi by 4 is how much 1 by root 2 minus cos pi by 4 is also 1 by root 2 so 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 0 0 into e power pi by 4 is 0 next f of 5 pi by 4 f of 5 pi by 4 then e to the power of 5 pi by 4 into sin pi by pi, sin 5 pi by 4 sin pi by 4 is minus 1 by root 2 and uh, cos cos pi by 4 is also minus 1 by root 2 now in this case minus plus both getting cancelled 0 into e to the power of 5 by 4 is also again what 0 so from this what you can say f of a is equal to f of b therefore Rolle's theorem can be applicable Rolle's theorem can be applicable okay verification we are doing in this verification first we have to take f dash of c is equal to 0 now we have to prove there exists at least one c belongs to open interval a b okay now f dash of x is equal to we have 2 e power x into sin x then f dash of c is 2 e power c into sin c this is equal to 0 you observe product of three functions here it is a constant 2 is not is equal to 0 next we have e power c is there e power c is anywhere 0 no in the interval 5 by 4 comma 5 by 4 e power c is 0 no only e power minus infinity is 0 okay next sin c is equal to 0 when sin c is equal from this what you can say e power c not equal 0 2 is not equal 0 therefore sin c is equal to 0 when sin c will be 0 if c is equal to plus or minus n pi plus or minus n pi nothing but c is equal to 
plus pi plus r minus pi plus r minus 2 pi plus r minus 3 pi and so on. So from this which are belongs to open interval pi by 4 comma 5 pi by 4. You tell me pi is belongs to pi by 4 comma 5 pi by 4. What about 2 pi? 2 pi is outside of pi by 4 comma 2 pi by 4. So here there exists c. What is that c? Pi. Okay. Next problem. Friends, now given problem is f of x is equal to x plus 3 into x into x plus 3 into e to the power of minus x by 2 on minus 3 comma 0. So, now the given problem you can also write as x square plus 3x times of e to the power of minus x by 2. The first term and second term here we have you observe product of two functions. Here first one is algebraic function, second one is exponential function. Now you observe in minus 3 comma 0, you give any value in between minus 3 and 0 including minus 3 and 0. Okay. Now if you given, will you get finite value or uh, infinite value? Finite only. So what you can say now f of x is defined. So in this case, you know that uh, x square plus 3x is a algebraic polynomial of degree 2, nothing but quadratic polynomial and it is exponential function. Exponential function is continuous and algebraic polynomial is also continuous. So the product of two functions is also again what here in this case continuous. So f is continuous on closed interval minus 3 0. Next check it f dash of x is exist or not. Now f dash of x we have to do the uv rule first term into second term derivative is e to the power of minus x by 2 into inner derivative minus 1 by 2 plus second term e power minus x by 2 into this derivative is 2x plus 3 that's it now you observe from these two what i can take common e power minus x by 2 is a common then you will have the remaining terms is minus of minus 1 by 2 times of x square plus 3x plus 2x plus 3 that's it f dash of x now is f dash of x is exist or defined on open interval 3 comma 0 we have to verify so if you put 1 you are getting finite value if you put 2 minus 1 minus 2 in between minus 3 comma 0 you will have finite value only this is algebraic polynomial this is exponential function so these two are defined on minus 3 comma 0 so f dash of x is exist so f dash of x exists now next we have to verify third condition this is second one and first one is continuous okay and the third one is we have to verify the images and images so f of a is equal to f of minus 3 if you put minus 3 what will happen you see in place of f x minus 3 minus 3 times of minus 3 plus 3 is how much 0 so this is equal to 0 next f of b f of b is nothing but f of 0 if you put x is equal to 0 0 into this non-zero term will become what? 0. So, f of b is also 0. So, from this what you can say f of a is equal to f of b. f of a is equal to f of b. So, from this what you can say Rolle's theorem is applicable or not? Yes, Rolle's theorem is applicable. Now, verification. What we have to do in the verification means we have to take f dash of c is equal to 0 and we need to prove at least one c belongs to open a b that's it what is f dash of x we have this one e to the power of minus x by 2 times of minus 1 by 2 x square plus 3x plus 2x plus 3 we have right now f dash of c means e to the power of minus c by 2 times of minus 1 by 2 times of x c square plus 3x plus 2c sorry this is c in place of x we have to substitute c okay 2c plus 3 is equal to 0 now you observe product of two functions are there here product of two functions are then so e power x uh, means exponential function never 0 so obviously this term will be 0 what is the what is the term you have you see minus 1 by 2 times of c square plus 3c plus 2c plus 3 is equal to 0 so do the lcm for this and so what i have means minus c square plus 3c so this is 2 times of 2 means 4c 2, 3, 2 times of 3 is 6 is equal to 0 so minus c square and this is plus 7c next you have like your 
plus 6 is equal, sorry, this is minus 3c and this is plus 4. So, only plus 1 you have, plus 1. So, on simplifying you can write c square minus c square minus c minus 6 is equal to 0. So, if you simplify this one, c square, 6 factors are 3, 2, but minus is there, no? so you can also write minus 3c plus 2c minus 6 is equal to 0. So, from this you can take c common, so c minus 3, from this you can take 2 common, then c minus 3 is equal to 0. So, you can also write this as product of c minus 3 times of, sorry, c minus 3 into c minus 2 equal to 0, c minus 3 into c plus 2 is equal to 0, therefore, c is equal to 3 comma minus 2. So, in 3 comma minus 2, which are belongs to open interval minus 3, 0, check it. 3 is outside, 2 is, minus 2 is inside. So, 3 is outside, 3 is outside and minus 2 is inside. Therefore, C is equal to minus 2 belongs to 0, uh, minus 3 comma 0. Friends, you remember, you will get at least one C. Okay, more than one also you will get that you have to remember. Sir, in all problems we are getting one root only. So, why they are written uh, at least one means I will uh, explain. You see, graph of the function. Suppose this is a graph of f of x if you have. See, this is end points if you consider a comma f of a and this is b comma f of b. Suppose you observe this graph is having continuous path or not. Yes. So, which is continuous and closed a b. Next, you observe, is there any sharpness in this curve? No. So, this is differentiable on open AB. Next, end points you take, F of A is equal to F of B or not? Yes. So, now there exist, by Rolle's theorem, there exist at least one tangent. Graphical representation is, there exist at least one tangent, which is parallel to the X axis. So, you observe now, there will be parallel to the X axis. How many are there? Three are there. Like this, more than one every time one for this only you will have one but for this you have three so based on the given function we can say at least one c belongs to open interval a b okay this is the rules theorem thank you for watching this video in the next video we will discuss like the just mean value theorem problems